Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Su-30 MKI forms the backbone of Indian Air Force with nearly 260 fighter aircraft in active service. Known for its maneuverability, the fighter jet features 25-year-old technologies that needs a mid-life upgrade for improved performance, enhanced service life and be combat ready for the modern warfare. Now, as per the recent reports from Prasar Bharati News Services, the Indian Air Force needs $4 billion to upgrade its fighter aircraft fleet. HL has already proposed the upgrade program which is expected to be approved by government soon. The plan is to upgrade about 150 Su-30 MKIs. HL and Indian Air Force together will finalize the equipments and subsystems for Su-30 MKI after which 150 aircraft will be upgraded. The Super Sukhoi program has been also approved by Russia as Su-30 MKIs are jointly produced by India and Russia. Many components and parts, as we know, come from Russia to upgrade the Super Sukhoi. The Super Sukhoi will also include a modern cockpit. The major parts of upgrade will also include avionics sensors, making 150 fighter jet technically compatible with latest generation fighters. The Uttam AAS radar is going to be the critical part of the Super Sukhoi upgrade and is being developed for Su-30 MKI based on gallium arsenide semiconductor, but will have much larger TR modules due to the large diameter of Su-30 MKI's nose cone. It is expected to feature around 1200 to 1300 TR modules and maybe more. HL will begin testing several components to be included in Super Sukhoi program in 2024. The prototypes to be launched for Super Sukhoi program will include new system in steps and can start with full-scale upgradation from the year 2027-28 onwards. The Air Force expects that the first Super Sukhoi aircraft will be ready by 2025. Now, as per report, Super Sukhoi will also have advanced stealth characteristics. Now, we have serious doubt on this as in order to achieve stealth in Su-30 MKI, it is possible only by the use of radar absorbing material. Replacing the metal alloys with composite is not possible in Su-30 MKI due to very long lead time in testing the fighter aircraft, airframe, stress testing of airframe and testing their aerodynamic performance. The report also says that Super Sukhoi will have the same engine as FGFA and it will increase its lifetime. The Super Sukhoi will not be covered under the offset rule of the defense procurement process of the Indian Ministry of Defense as this upgradation project is a part of previous Su-30 MKI agreement. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.